Hey everyone, I want to talk about motivation today. This is a pretty exciting topic for me because in the past week or so I've really been using these ideas to propel myself forward and it's been very useful. I hear people say things like, oh, if I only had the motivation or oh, if I only had the willpower. And if this is you, keep tuning in because I want to take you through a three-step process of what I know could lead to a huge sense of individual accomplishment, deep-seated happiness in the work that we're, that we're wanting to move forward in. Whether you're looking to work out regularly, keep good nutrition, um, tackle a big project, um, hey, go off on your own and be self-employed. All of these things are incredible things to be motivated for. Let's find that exact way that will really trigger the dopamine response in your body and link it to accomplishment. So many of us believed that motivation is something outside of us that we have to fight for or take a pill for or, or pray and cross our fingers and hope for the best. The good news is that the science of motivation clearly shows that there's a chemical in the brain, dopamine, that links our pleasure response. And pleasure is not necessarily the best way to put this, but for simplicity purposes, it's the pleasure response that's typically linked to the reward after the work that we're doing. We're going to do something a little bit different. And so if this sounds interesting to you, we're going to link that process to the actual work instead. That's going to be the third step. If you have a hard time getting started with any type of motivation, if it's tough for you to get out of bed, if it's just difficult to do anything, let's start small. Let's work our way up. So step number one, this is huge. So it's going to sound really simple, but I want you to just go ahead and grab a pen real quick, a piece of paper. Writing things down is so helpful. We're wanting to map out a course on how to get to where we're going. The first step is to simply recognize what do we want? This is all about you too. I can't tell you what you want. You know in your heart what you want. So if you really think about it. Give this some time. Write these down. This will only take a second. Hit pause, whatever it takes, and just write down those top three to five things, whatever, whatever comes to your head. Hey, I want this experience to happen in my life, even if it feels impossible, right? Because right now, we may be in a place where we think that something is completely impossible, and in even just one short month, that thing could be within our grasp, especially with this intrinsic work that we're doing to really tap into this growth formula that I'm talking about here. Good, so you're back. You've written down those three to five things that you want, the ideal outcomes, your goals that you want. Here's the kicker. It's not gonna be powerful unless you really attach an emotional response to it. Why do you want this? Now, this can't be something like, oh, I just wanna help people, or I just wanna feel better. Well, of course, we all wanna feel better, and if we're good people, we would want to help people, at least the people that we love, right? So be honest with yourself. You know, if, if it's weight loss, that's your first thought. Hey, I want to lose 30 pounds. Incredible. Let's motivate ourselves to that by thinking about even possibly, not a why, just a why, but also an action step that you could take to put into that. Think about those two things. Why do you want this? Be honest. This is something that really matters. So, heck, this could be something like in one of our regional meetings, uh, one of our trainers, JT, uh, awesome sarcasm. The guy's just great. He's like, uh, we're doing a role play, and he said, uh, said, you know, hey, what do you want? Someone was asking him as if he's the client, and he said, I want to I wanna look great because I want to make my ex-wife really jealous. Hey, that's a great motivator. If that's something that you're into and that you want, Write that down, right? Uh, as long as you're honest with yourself, put that emotion behind it. You want your heart to just absolutely pound and really want this and desire it when you think about it, when you look at it, right? So now looking at your list, you have a few goals that you want. You have an emotion attached to it. Why do you want this truly in your heart? And then what action step could you take just right now, all day today, that would help you get toward that goal. So this could be something as simple as just minimizing carbs for one day or something of that nature, right? Doesn't have to be complex. This could just be one thing. So on to step two. This next part is where it gets a little tricky and difficult. Um, we're wanting to be very honest with ourselves 
and about what we do on a daily basis. What am I doing that may be wasting my time and keeping me from that fulfillment, from that ideal outcome and all of those goals that I'm looking for? Create a different subsection right below this one or right to the side of it and start writing those things down. Daily habits, what do you do every day? At least 10 of them. Every day you do these things and you may not want to do them. You may think that some of them are good, but some of them are not. Eventually you'd want to omit some of those or just bring that time frame down. So let's say you may be addicted to video games or something of the sort. You're like, oh, I play video games for 12 hours a day. That's extreme, of course. Heck, even if you want it to be an hour instead of two hours, it's something to shoot for. So write down every one of your habits, compare them to the goals, and think about what could you do in that time frame to change those habits. What could you change? And just think about it. Keep this list with you. Writing down how much time that we spend doing specific time-wasting habits is very powerful because it makes us look at it and see truthfully how much time we've been spending, you're going to be surprised and you'll be able to start changing habits very quickly. This works like a snowball effect and you'll continue to build momentum. It's like rolling down a hill and adding more and more positive momentum toward the goal or the snowball that you're looking toward. Now these two steps are extremely powerful and these are gonna keep us going for a good while. We'll have some good motivation, we'll continue to find progress in what we're doing then these walls are going to start coming up. And I've run into these walls time after time after time. And I, gratefully, I came across Dr. Huberman's video that was talking about motivation and what he likes to call the growth mindset. I could call it the growth formula. Anything like that really works. What we're doing is we're changing our associative conditioning to something completely different than we've probably never been wired for. All the most recent studies show that when we link our dopamine spike, which means our pleasure response, when we link that to the effort that we put in to working towards a goal, when we find that happiness and that pleasure and that joy in the process of working toward our ideal outcomes, this changes absolutely everything in our lives. And I can already feel that happening and building in myself, which is very powerful. The reward center then is not located in that chocolate sundae after the marathon, that pleasure center and that spike of happiness, of joy, of pleasure is linked within the process of growth and expansion itself. Studies show that that is what all of the high achievers have done to, the, to their brains. It's absolutely incredible. Um, this is basically just learning how to control your own dopamine spikes. Uh, it's really good stuff. And putting ourselves into a positive position of accomplishment and joy at the same time is very powerful. This might feel like you're lying to yourself at first. So don't be afraid to be honest and say to yourself, this can't be lying because it's what I really want and it's the way the brain works properly. It's almost like one of my mentors suggested to me that I smile purposefully more often. And he suggested that during my drive, I listen to some very relaxing music and just smile and think about all of the things that I'm grateful for. This was something that I felt a huge resistance toward. I felt like I was pretending to be happy or trying to do something but by the end of just a week of doing it, it absolutely changed my mindset. And it made me realize that there is no outside happiness. There is no outside motivation. All those important things, they come from inside of us. And so I wanted to share with you what's been effective for me recently. I'd love to hear some of your tricks, some of your comments, anything that you use to help motivate yourself. Are you consistently getting the nutrition you want? Are you doing your workouts? Are you living up to your full potential? And what could you do to motivate yourself to do so today? I'd love to hear about it. Drop me a comment below. I'd love to see you on my next video. I hope you live a longer life through the power of strength training. Have a great week.